Director of the UNSW Research Strategy Office and on behalf of the Pro Vice-Chancellor of Research, Professor Anna Delatish, I'm delighted to welcome you all to UNSW. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of this land on which we meet, and pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. It's a great pleasure to warmly welcome you all to the 6th Australian and New Zealand Cyanobacteria Workshop. I'd like to extend a particularly warm welcome to the workshop's keynote speakers, who've both had very long journeys uh, to be with us here today. So Professor Sandra Azevedo from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and Dr. Mark Matthews, the founder of Cyana Lakes PTY Limited, who's come from South Africa. I'd also like to acknowledge our platinum sponsors, Melbourne Water and Victoria Health, and our gold sponsor, Water New South Wales, and welcome their representatives here today. And finally, I'd like to wish you all the very best for a stimulating and very productive workshop over the next two days. And I'd like to hand over to the workshop chair, Associate Professor Rita Henderson. Thank you, Thank you very much, Alison. Um, so it's my pleasure to be here today. Uh, on behalf of the program committee, I would like to welcome all our um, delegates and our invited speakers, uh, Professor Sandra Azevedo and Dr. Mark Matthews to UNSW for this sixth cyanobacterial workshop. Before I get started, um, we have some housekeeping. So in the event of an emergency, um, we will um, have a fire warden who will come and give us further instructions but as you'll see the exit is down those stairs we'll actually congregate by the library but you'll be taken there so please wait for the instructions um, as for the bathrooms they are down the stairs and then round the court there's a corridor um, just down there with the bathroom facilities should you need them um, and now I can go on with the rest of um, this welcoming speech so this cyanobacterial workshop has grown since, since its um, inception in 2009, nearly 10 uh, years ago, where it was established and organized by Lee Bowling. Um, if he's here, yes, he's here today. Um, and he's also a member of um, today's organizing committee. Um, I'm told it was organized, first of all, as a one-off event held following severe algal blooms along a 1,000 kilometer stretch of the Murray River. To me, only arriving in the UK, um, very recently from then, um, which by the way is less than a thousand kilometers from end to end, the scale of the problem was quite astounding. It was apparent that researchers and industry managers in both health and water sectors had to meet to try and solve uh, the pressing problem of these cyanobacterial blooms, which in the year 2000 were estimated to cost a hundred million dollars per annum. So building on the success of the previous workshop, uh, which was organized by Michelle Burford and Philip Orr and the team at Griffith, Griffith University, which generated uh, wide interest across the Australasian region uh, broadly, the decision was made in 2017 to change the name from the National Cyanobacterial Workshop to the Australian and New Zealand uh, Cyanobacterial Workshop. At this workshop, we've, um, we've got 135 delegates registered. And I note that some of these are attending from Japan, from Finland, and in addition, we have our invited speakers coming from Brazil and South Africa, which I think demonstrates the continued importance, uh, both regionally and globally, of this issue. There is mounting evidence demonstrating the link between climate change and increased events of harmful algal blooms in our waterways. And as we know, this increases the risk of toxic and malodorous byproducts being present in water uh, that may be consumed for ag by agricultural purposes or drinking water. When combined with the stresses um, of supplying water to an increasing population, managing this risk is an extremely challenging undertaking. And to do so successfully requires a holistic and multidisciplinary approach that incorporates a broad range of, of areas, including catchment management, knowledge of the cyanobacterial byproducts and what instigates their release, analytical, te te sorry, analytical techniques to detect byproducts at trace concentrations, state-of-the-art monitoring and treatment approaches, uh, and the integration of this knowledge with, into regulatory guidelines and management approaches. The purpose of this event is to facilitate knowledge exchange networking, and opportunity for discussion between multiple stakeholders from both research and industry that are invested in this issue. 
with the end goal of improving management strategies to mitigate the risk posed by cyanobacteria in our waterways. We received nearly 60 submissions on a variety of related topics. So thanks to this effort from you all, we have put together a program that covers critical areas, including molecular biology, ecophysiology and toxicology of cyanobacteria, environmental impacts and controls of cyanobacterial growth and toxin production, cyanobacterial detection and quantification, and application of the science to the regulatory environment and water management. I'm sure that these topics will generate plenty of insightful discussion over the next couple of days. As I said, this event is not only about knowledge transfer, expanding your networks and providing opportunity to elaborate on discussion, uh, on discussion points posed by the program are equally important. Hence, in addition to our regular tea breaks and lunch that will be held in the foyer, we have two major networking events. First of all, there's the poster session, which will be held on Tuesday, so today at 4.30 p.m. In the, in, the, in the foyer as well, which I encourage everyone to attend. Followed at 7 p.m. by the conference dinner, the workshop dinner, which will be held here in the Tyree Room. Um, so we were de delighted that we were invited to host um, this event at UNSW, where water is a key strategic area. In its 2018 subject rankings, the influential Shanghai Rankings Global Ranking of Academic Subjects placed UNSW uh, fifth in the world for water resources and first in the Asia Pacific region. So the Global Water Institute, um, who kindly agreed to host and manage this event, uh, was founded in, 20, in 2016 to draw together the expertise of 13 UNSW research centres. Um, across seven core capabilities and therefore enable a multidisciplinary approach uh, to many complex water challenges and opportunities. Um, I am pleased to provide the recent partnership between Melbourne Water, UNSW, the University of Newcastle and Vic Health, the Nuisance and Harmful Algal Science Practice Partnership, NHASP, as an example of a cross-collaborative multidisciplinary partnership which is dedicated to solving cyanobacterial related problems in Melbourne Water's waterways. This program of research forms the first flagship project for the Global Water Institute, which reiterates the importance of the issue that we will be discussing over the next couple of days. So finally, um, there are a number of thank yous to be made. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to thank our sponsors. So Melbourne Water and Victoria Health, um, those are our platinum sponsors, and Water New South Wales, our gold sponsor. I would like to thank our host, the Global Water Institute, and also support that we received from the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Without their combined generosity, we would not have been able to put on such a program, and we thank them all for making this possible. Uh, this event has been the culmination of the hard work of several individuals. Um, so secondly, I would like to thank, first of all, the rest of the organising committee. It was fantastic to have the benefit of the knowledge of those with, experiencing, uh, with experience in organising this event on previous occasions. So notably, Philip Orr, Michelle Burford, Lee Bowling and Water RA staff. Um, we started holding meetings for this event back in August 20, um, 2017. And as many of you know, um, I actually went on maternity leave towards the end of the year, only returning back a few weeks ago. Um, so there are a couple of people that I would like to thank personally for keeping things moving in my absence, um, especially Richard Stutz. Where is he? Waving at the back there. Thank you, Richard. Um, you, you made things a lot easier um, when I was away um, and really took the lead in, in chairing. Uh, Naris Rayo over there, who also did a huge amount of work um, on getting this conference together. Um, also Florence Chu um, and more recently Boyan Tamburic, um, they've, they've done a, a, host, a, a lot of work for this. Um, and, and our team of UNSW postdocs and students who assisted with our registration um, as well. I want to thank Greg Leslie and his team at the GWI. In particular, Lisa Lepiscopo, who went beyond the call of duty to get everything organised for today. Um, and I imagine many of you would have received emails from her at some point. So thank you, Lisa, at the back there as well. Um, and finally, I would like to thank uh, all the delegates for taking time from their busy schedules to be here today. Um, you've come from all over Australia and New Zealand and beyond, and your participation is the reason why we gather here. Uh, so with that, 
I'm delighted um, to invite, um, to introduce rather, our first invited speaker, uh, Professor Sandra Azevedo from the Federal University um, of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Professor Azevedo is a lead researcher on Brazil's tragic Caruaru incident, which resulted um, in the death of 50 people after intoxication by cyanotoxin. Um, Professor Azevedo is well known for her world-leading research encompassing many aspects of cyanobacteria. Um, currently, her research interests lie in environmental impacts of eutrophication in reservoirs, ecotoxological studies in toxic cyanobacteria in water supplies, and health aspects of cyanobacterial toxins and water quality issues. So please can you welcome Sandra to the stage. Thank you. 